Hey, Coach, obviously you're going to have competition for pretty much every position. Can you kind of tell us what's going on with the return, kick return, punt return? Because it seems like you have a lot of options there. Well, first of all, I think you'd begin in the punt return part of it, talking about Rashad White. Um, you know, he continues to develop and, and, uh, and has been good at practice. He's catching the ball really well. Uh, behind him, you know, we've recruited a number of receivers and DBs that had good return skills. Um, and so we've, we, we've got, we do have a crowd hill. And part of uh, spring training is, is, you know, making the determination uh, what direction we're going to move to get to training camp. Uh, I think you know, you'll see guys like, like uh, you know, DJ um, is also uh, – DJ Taylor is also a punt returner as, as well as being a kickoff returner. But we've got – Elijah Badger, we've got we've got Jack Jones is still in, in the in the picture. We've got um, LV uh, Bunkley. Um, so um, there, there's a number of guys back there that have the ability to do it, and uh, and so that that helps us kickoff return wise. Uh, we'll start off with DJ, you know, obviously from what he did last year, but uh, there's a number of these the, the skill kids can can do it. Christian. Yeah, Coach, sort of in that vein, do you foresee, you know, rotating a lot of guys through that role, or do you think you'll sort of settle on one or two at each and just sort of go with that? We'll definitely settle uh, probably two to three um, in each, and then those are the guys that will get the primary reps in practice. Um, and so we'll, we'll get game ready when we get to training camp. Right now it's about player development and us identifying the guys that need to fit in the different areas. Jeff? Jeff? When you, um, when you had somebody like DJ Taylor do what he did last year, I, I guess, how do you build on that? And also, um, what do you expect people are going to do to try to defend against him now that they know how, how uh, talented he is back there? Well, the first part of that question, is he's a young player that's uh, he learns something every day. And th there's a lot to that. And so um, he's been been great about the learning part of it and, and things come up in practice. We, we're trying to practice um, good on good. And when I say that, we've got maybe our, our number one kickoff return team on the field with the, the, the best of the rest kickoff coverage team. So uh, we're getting good speed in our face and getting good work regard. And then um, I've forgotten the second part of your question. What was it? Well, just how you expect people will try to defend him oh. now, give, given what he was able to do last year. How much does that change now that people uh, really realize what he can do? Well, I think we'll have to deal, number one, with different kick locations. I think if you look back at our 2019 game against USC, that's what people will attempt to do. You know, Brandon Ayuk took the first kickoff out past the 25 from – from deep in the end zone. Then the next one, they kicked it deep again, and he went 98 yards, I believe it was. And then, so from that point on, they started kicking the ball all over the field. Well, we had a number of skilled players in the back end of that, so we had great field position. I believe after, after you averaged the average starting position in that ball game was at plus territory. It was on USC side of the field. So if we have that, if we were getting that, uh, those type of kicks from our opponents, then we'll be able to deal with it and try to create good field position. And so that means that we're going to have to have a number of players backed up back there that can catch the ball and, and have the ability to advance it and put us in good field position. So that's what I, I pretty much expect is that they'll, they'll change up the types of kicks that they give us. Christian. Yeah, coach, obviously you have, you know, an elite punter with Michael and a kicker you got, some talented guys who got a lot of depth in that room. How do you see the place kicking competition, you know, playing out moving forward? Well, uh, it's a competition on a daily basis. And we've got three young men here that are, that are doing that. And they're all uh, improving quite a bit. So I've been really happy with the first, you know, seven practices that, that, uh, that were improving the, the way we are. Um, we've also got a young man coming in that we signed in this past class, Eddie Zaplicki, that will join um, the, the young men that we have here. And so um, it, it's uh, it's competition, and the best guy will be a good player. 
Questions for coach using the raise hand function, Michelle? Yeah, coach, I had heard that um, Zendejas left, then came back, and then he left again. Is he part of the mix? Or is he not part of the mix? And right now, he's not part of the mix. He, he's okay. an awesome young man. Um, he's graduating this spring, so he's looking at other options. And, uh, and we, you know, he, he's been a great teammate and um, has, a, has a history here. And so he, he's part of the family. He'll always be part of our family. Any other questions for coach? All right, thanks for the time, coach. All right, thank you. Thanks, coach. That's it for today, everyone.